Hi, Shalom everyone, a huge score to have Rabbi Geffen here to share some words in regards to Chag Shavuot. Thank you, Rabbi Michael. So, universal custom that almost everyone keeps on Shavuot is that the men stay up all night learning. The source of this is brought in the Magen of Raham, that the Jews went to sleep on that night and they had to get woken up by Hashem. And therefore, as a kind of rectification of that, we stay up all night and we try to be awake as the day begins. The very basic question is asked on this is that the idea is learning Torah, but, but when we do this, when we stay up all night, we end up being so tired, we sleep on Erev Shavuot, we sleep in the next day, we end up sleeping more than we normally do and learning less. So some people want to say, no, just go to bed like normal and you'll learn more. My Rav answers that no, Shavuot, one time a year, it's not about how much we learn, it's about giving up on comfort for learning. It's hard with Mosa Nefesh that we're giving up on sleep to learn. In that way we're fixing what happened when the Jews didn't get up. The Jews didn't get up on a slight, slight level, some of the commentaries say, is because they were a bit scared of getting the Torah because they knew it was a lot of obligations and so on. So we say, you know what, it is hard. But one time a year we're going to, even though we're tired, we're going to learn and we're going to do our best. So we should all merit to stay up all night if we can and learn Torah and give up a little bit of sleep for Torah. Amen.